Hey everybody, I'm Steve Haig with Men at Second, and if you are attending Second Presbyterian Church, you too are a man at second. And I'd like to invite you to a monthly event we call Revival on Sunday, May 16th at 9.30 a.m. on Zoom. So what is Revival? It's a unique monthly breakfast gathering for men at second to grow our relationships with each other and hear how Jesus has been at work in the lives of other men at second. So grab a cup of coffee and come be revived by great music, an opportunity to connect with other men at second, and an engaging speaker who this month is our very own Steve Steffel. Steve is a longtime member of Second Press, and as many of you know, Steve was the community lay director for the Great Banquet for many, many years. Steve's going to share his faith journey and how Jesus has been extremely active in his life. I don't know about you, but I'm excited to hear what Steve has to say. Steve? Well, thank you, Steve. Um, I sure welcome this opportunity to uh, share a little bit about my uh, myself, my life journey uh, with these uh, group of Christian men. Uh, I'm 77 years old, and I feel like I've lived a very blessed life. Um, some ups and some downs, but I've always felt that God was there leading me. He's put people and circumstances and relationships in my life. And every once in a while, I, I've had one of those aha moments where I knew God was speaking directly to me. And I'm anxious to share those with those that will be uh, joining us for this event. We all have a story. And I hope sharing my story will benefit others. Uh, I'll share with you in some detail uh, things about my family, my faith, and my career, and lessons I've learned along the way in each of these areas. Let's start with family. Uh, I'm here by the grace of God. My father was born in 1881, and he married for the first time at age 60. My mom was a little less than half of his age. Uh, that makes me <clears throat> lucky to be here and an only child. Uh, we were relatively poor. There was no running water in the house. I walked to school where eight grades were in two rooms and there was no running water in the school either. It was two outhouses and a pump out back. Wow. Uh, it was a pretty, uh, it was a small little village in Northwest Ohio. And uh, uh, it was, but it was an ideal place to grow up. Uh, you know, I played along the uh, river, uh, active in Boy Scouts, had a little paper route, all that kind of things that boys do when they're young. I married for the first time I was uh, when I was 40 years old. And uh, that marriage ended in divorce uh, three and a half years later. Then I married the love of my life, Carol, who many of you know, at age 49, that was 28 years ago. We, we had a very wonderful relationship. I married her with two daughters, my stepdaughters, and that has become my family. My faith journey uh, really began uh, in, in the uh, Catholic Church. Uh, my grandparents were German and we were devout Catholics. Uh, and it was after a walk to Emmaus that I attended, which is similar to the Great Banquet, in 1989, um, that, uh, that I, my eyes were a bit opened. And um, it was, uh, it was uh, about six months later, uh, at age 46, that I had a born-again experience. And I, uh, later than about five years later, I joined... Uh, Second Presbyterian Church. And I've had an attitude. My wife said, don't do something you're not comfortable with because I was still Catholic. And I said, no, you need to bloom where you're planted. Wow. And so I've done that. And I've served as a deacon and an elder at Second. And as Steve has already mentioned, I served as a late leader for the Indianapolis Great Banquet for 10 and a half years. Uh, that equates to 52 of those weekends. Uh, my, my business career began uh, uh, out of college, uh, a career with Marathon Oil. And I, had, uh, I was single, I was easy to move, and I had nine assignments in 11 and a half years. Huh. But uh, they kept me on, they had me on a fast track, and I think I was doing pretty well. And I got a little too big for my britches, and entrepreneurial spirit kicked in. And I decided to design and, and 
and try to find uh, something that um, that was mine. And so um, I I left the corporation and uh, started uh, looking for an opportunity. I ended up uh, starting a business which failed. I had total financial failure. I was undercapitalized and I had to start over. Uh, back in 1979, then I ended up uh, becoming involved in commercial real estate, real estate investing. And I've been doing that ever since, which is 42 years. Uh, you know, we're, we're all uh, created by God to have an eternal life. We have a short period of that life right here on earth. And uh, we are each given a mission. And we need to find that, find out what that is and uh, glorify God with it. So I hope to share with you some of my thoughts on good stewardship of the time, talents, and treasure that each of us has been given. So I look forward to uh, giving you this information in much more detail uh, on the weekend. Steve, that's fantastic. I'd say those are some wise words uh, and what an interesting life. I got a real good taste for uh, just a little bit more about you. So I can't wait to the 16th, folks. So that's Revival, uh, May 16th, 9.30 in the morning on Zoom. Uh, you can reach out to me if you need the... Um, uh, if you need the Zoom link, that's uh, shag50 at gmail.com. We will see you on the 16th. Come and be revived. Thank you.